Hi everyone! It's my birthday! And my car didn't start this morning, so I'm home from school again. Uh, in the background, you may hear beeping and such. That is the glorious sound of snow removal occurring after a three-day blizzard. It's the best present I could have hoped for. I am here to film for you an update to my Use 9 by New Year's challenge. A couple of things have been moved out, either because they were decluttered or because I used them up. So I'm just going to give you an update on the ones that I have remaining. First up is this Bath & Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar Shower Gel. When I entered it into the project, I was at this line. I am down to this line here. Um, I might not get this all the way used up within the next couple of weeks, but it'll be really close. It'll be easy for me to get this finished up either by New Year's or right directly after New Year's. I really love this scent. I have a lotion in the same um, fragrance, so I really don't see any trouble finishing this one up. Next is my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Um, when I added it to the project, it was basically new, and then I've been going through and with each update steadily made progress, so I really don't see any problem using this up for the remainder of the year either. It does have like a ton of air in there, so then that kind of makes all of the product kind of squish upwards, so I'm roughly around where the line is. Next, I have the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eye Primer. I use this every single time that I do eyeshadow. And so at the beginning, it was brand new. I hadn't even opened it, I don't think. And then slowly, I've made progress down. This will be close to being used up within the next couple of weeks if it's not totally used up. This obviously is something I'm going to keep using even after the project is done because I love it. But I was really hoping to be able to get this one used up ASAP because I have several like different kinds of eye primers as backups to this. So if I can get this done before New Year's, I would be really, really happy about it. There's the snow, guys. I'm so happy. On top of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer, I always put um, this Bare Minerals Bisque to set it. And as you can see, I am making slow progress. I do suspect this will be most of the way done, but I still have like a lot of product left in there. Next is my Tarte Smooth Operator Clay Finishing Powder, and this product has been in my project pans and all of that jazz for at least all of this year, um, which is where I started at the beginning. Like, I think it was January, maybe, I was starting to try to use this one up. So I have made a ton of progress. And because of the way that it sits, I don't know exactly, you know, how much is there. It might be even less than what I've marked, but I'm not going to split hairs over it. I've made a little progress because I do use it every single day that I wear makeup to set my um, T-zone and under my eyes. It's very finely milled, so it's perfect under the eyes. Probably won't get all the way done because it just seems to go so slowly, but it'll get most of the way done by the end of this project, and I guess I'll have to be happy with that. Next, I have my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is something that was basically new when I started, and you can maybe see I'm starting to get a really pronounced dip here in the center. There we go. So you can kind of see that. Um, in addition to using this as a bronzer, I've started using it as a transition color in my crease. There's just no way I'm going to finish this off in a couple of months, but all I wanted to do was really to hit pan. And so as long as I keep hitting it in the same spot with my brush over and over as an eyeshadow color, I think that I will have no trouble hitting pan on this before the end of the year. But then again, I mean, I'm wrong lots of times. Next, I have my Laura Geller blush in Baked Brulee Blush in Apple Custard. And I recently added this one in because my other blush started to change color, and so I think it just went bad. Um, but my goal for this product is to flatten out the dome shape so that it's even with the plastic. Blush is really 
hard to use up because you really can't load it on the way you could with an eyeshadow or a bronzer or a powder. So once I'm done with this project, using this blush in this project, I'm going to set this one aside and work on focusing on blushes that will expire before the end of next year just so that I can say that I'm using them as much as I can to get my money's worth before they go bad. So as much as I love this blush, I know that I'm not going to flatten out you know, the dome uh, before the end of this year. So I'm going to set this one aside and come back to it after I've used some of my other blushes that will expire before this one does. That was a lot of rambling. My last... is this the last? My last product in this um, project, I added in I think for the last update I actually officially added it in. And so here's where I was when I added it in. And then here's where I am now. It's the um, Fakai Luscious Curls Cream. Um, it smooths, controls, defines curl shape. It doesn't really. I used it just a few hours ago when I washed my hair and it it really isn't doing anything for me. I mean, literally, like that doesn't look smooth or defined, but eh. I kind of feel like it actually weighs down my curls. My hair is typically curlier than this when I let it air dry without this in it. So this will not be a repurchase. Um, I got it at TJ Maxx for about 10 bucks. Originally it's 22. I would be really disgruntled if I had spent 22 and got this as the result. You know, it's decent. I guess I should probably be able to get this done before the end of the year. I feel like this project has already benefited me in that I know now what I don't want to rebuy. So that is my update on my nine by New Year's challenge that I've been working on. At the end, I'll kind of review all the products that I've finished and show you like where I am on the ones that I have remaining. For now, I think that I've made a lot of good progress on a lot of products that I probably wouldn't otherwise have used. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below and feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know what you would like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Peace and love.